ever since the high school pack came out, I have been in such a mood to build, and I was thinking that today we could try and do like a bigger family house. I just know that in my own gameplay, I'm gonna want space for like two or three teens, so we're gonna need a lot of bedrooms. I guess small problem is that the lot is kind of small, so I don't know how we're gonna fit like a four bedroom house here, but we will try. And you know what? I actually really like this fake house that's next door to this lot, so I might try and do something kind of similar and see if we can get it to blend into the neighborhood a little. And speaking of family houses, I want to give a real quick thank you to our sponsor today, Family Island. It's a really fun mobile game. I'll have a link to download it down below and I'll tell you more about it in a little bit. But with all of that being said, let's try and figure out how we're gonna build this. There's not really space for like a front and backyard, so we'll have to do more of a side yard on this one. Yeah, you know what? Now that I think about it, I'm like, this lot is really small. How am I gonna fit four bedrooms in this? I mean, I guess it's kind of possible if we had them. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll come back to that. That's a problem for future Simsy. The lighting in this world is so weird and so harsh. Like, look at how it looks on the side of this. I really want to like this world, but I feel like I'm probably not going to build in here very often after like the pack hype has died down. There's a reason I always build a new crest and it's just because the lighting is very even and it's very simple. So it's easy to build there and it's not like ugly <laughs> for speed builds. It's just hard because this is the morning light and it's so dark. And then like obviously the afternoon is really harsh too. I just want it to be a little bit brighter and like easier to see when I'm making a video like this. Um, this might be a little bit ugly, but you know, we'll figure it out. This is fine. Everything's fine. Maybe it's just like the fact that the stairs are so... I don't know. Can I have it be that wide? We could probably have it be that wide. Okay, here is a very, very simple exterior of the house. I like the roof line a lot. I think this will work. And then I'll probably give us like some sort of side yard. I don't really know how wide I want it to be. Maybe I'll do it like that. I'm not sure if it should come like all the way up to the front of this or if we should close it or not. I'm really not certain about what I'm going for with this. Maybe we could do it like that. And we can put a little path somehow. There's not really a lot of space for a little path, but we can try. Let me stick some light lights in here too, because then we can see everything better. I think if we have one bedroom downstairs and then three bedrooms upstairs, we can totally get what I wanted out of this. All right, let's think about windows and doors for a second, because I don't know if we should use the pack ones. Like, I really like this front door. I think it's cute. I just don't know if that really fits with this style. I always gravitate towards this one. I know, I'm sorry, but it just, it works. <laughs> it's a nice size. It's a nice height. I think that might be our best bet. Oh my gosh, we could probably use the new windows, the ones that your Sims can like escape out of. I guess when you say escape, it sounds bad, but we could probably use those in here. Although I don't know what will fit here. Hmm. Oh wait, maybe this one could be right there. That could be okay. I'm kind of looking at what the neighbor did and the neighbor's house is like not anything special. So <laughs> I think already ours is a bit better, but I don't know if these windows look nice or not. If we use the ones that have shutters, it might look a little bit nicer. I'll probably come back to the side of this and like change the windows up once we do the floor plan. And I think I also want to figure out maybe some sort of way to have like a little bit of a back porch over here. I feel like there needs to be a back door or something. Oh, and you know what? If we did it like this, we could probably have like a patio kind of in that space and then grass up in the front. Like maybe a small little gravel space in the back corner there. Oh, we could probably put a sliding glass door to the patio. I don't know. And maybe windows like that on the side there. I'll definitely probably move those once we do the floor plan. All right. I know it's looking a little bit weird, but I think that's the best we can do without doing the floor plan. And so I want to do that next. When I look at this, I feel overwhelmed because we have to fit so many rooms into a very small amount of space. I think I might start with like a bathroom or something back here and then maybe we could try and have a bedroom in this little bump out. We have to put the stairs somewhere. I wonder if we maybe did them like by the front door a little if we stole some of that space. If I put stairs right here, how does that look from upstairs? Okay, that's not too bad. I almost wish that it was like a little bit further forward, but I don't know if that room is too small if we do it like that. I'm just thinking that this way we could probably more easily fit a bigger room here. No, that won't work. <laughs> that won't work because how do you get into this corner? Oh my god. <laughs> This is so much more difficult than I thought it would be. Oh no. All right, what if this room is like very large and then they have an ensuite bathroom? Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. This might be okay. Cause if we did it like this, okay, I don't even know if I can fit a double bed in any of these rooms. <laughs> so this might not work, but imagine like bathroom, bathroom in both of these spaces. We've got three bedrooms. There'll be these like three big spaces. This one has an ensuite bathroom. And then these two have like a shared 
third Jack and Jill bathroom. Then this downstairs bedroom has its own door. There's a hall bath. And in total, it is a four bedroom, three bathroom house. Now, um, <laughs> If this is going to be the primary suite, it's it's not the best. Wait, wait, wait. What if we like stole some space? What if the um no, that's not going to work. <laughs> this is really ugly. Oh my god. Okay, no. No. Well, let me tell you about my plans for downstairs really fast because this might make you feel better. But before we start that, I want to tell you a little bit about our sponsor today, Family Island. Family Island is a super cute mobile simulation game and I've been playing it a lot recently. So when they asked to sponsor me, I was like, uh, yes, <laughs> yes, please. Basically in the game you play is this family that's shown up on a deserted island and you have to like collect resources and craft materials and tools to like build up their campsite. You've got to do a lot of farming of crops to feed yourself and your animals and stuff, which obviously very much appeals to me, you know how I feel about farming games. A lot of the gameplay involves like chopping trees to get sticks and logs or hitting rocks to get more resources and then you can use those resources to craft stuff. And then obviously as you're playing you slowly unlock more levels and more buildings and more crafting recipes and stuff like that. There is always new stuff to do and more tasks and things to level up so there's never a dull moment when you're playing Family Island. So I'm playing right now and it's just asked me to get some more mushrooms to pick some stuff to eat which I'm not complaining about although I will say I'm not a huge mushroom fan in real life. Um, luckily I'm not the person living here here on this island. That's their problem and not mine. Can I also just say this game is so beautiful. Like the surrounding areas are so pretty. There's just so much nice stuff to look at. It's very serene. I really, really have enjoyed playing this game. And I know that you and I are pretty similar because we have the same taste in Sims stuff. So I think you're going to like it too. Family Island is free to download and it's available on both the Google Play and the App Store. So if you want to play it, I'll also have a link down below to grab it. Like I said, it's really, really cute and I think you're going to love it. And you know what? This game's pretty popular. So if any of you already play, what level are you on? I know you're probably gonna make me feel embarrassed when you tell me, but <laughs> I'm curious to know in the comments. So thank you again, Family Island, for so kindly sponsoring this video. And with that, let's get back to the gameplay. I was picturing there would be like a kitchen kind of along this back wall here. Maybe we could have an island or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. There'd be a living room kind of right here, TV on this wall. And I, I guess that's probably it. <laughs> I don't really know if you can put anything else in here. But then the upstairs is just a mess. So I suppose maybe I didn't think this through. It's like specifically the fault of this window. Like if that window wasn't, cause I just don't want to have the bed be not centered with the window. I think that's ugly. <laughs> I know it's, it's doable. It's just like not ideal. And I don't really want the hallway to be like that skinny. Doesn't make a difference anyway, whatever. This is fine. We knew it was going to be small. That was the whole point. Well, does a double bed fit better downstairs? I guess not really. It's, it's doable. Cause you can put it like there or something, but I think the ensuite bedroom is probably still the best. Bet. I wonder if we should put a slightly longer wall right here just so we can have like a little bit more cabinet space in the kitchen and then we can have the cabinets go all the way along this way. You know what? That's actually quite cute. I think this sliding glass door is really fun, but it might be a little bit on the like bigger side <laughs> for a space this small. I'd like to use it still, but is it okay if we have it like clipping a little bit with the counters? I think it's fine. It'll still function. So, okay. So here's kind of what I'm thinking for the kitchen layout. I put like some open shelving above the stove. We've got the sink and everything. We honestly could probably even have a dishwasher. I usually can't fit those. So that's fun. Now the question is, should we use these new bar stools or do they look weird? <laughs> I'm not really sure. They're kind of fun. I like the color scheme. You know what? Maybe that swatch could direct how we furnish the rest of the house. I'm not really sure if this tile looks weird as a kitchen backsplash or not, but I kind of want to use it just because it's from the pack. All right. I think the kitchen is done. I think I'm happy with this. I really want to use the new rug. I just worry that it's like too much. <laughs> Does that make sense? I'm worried that it's like too busy, but it might be okay if we use this like lighter swatch. I would very much like to use this new couch. I just find it so difficult to match to anything. <laughs> Maybe if we didn't use this rug, hang on, let's think about this. Cause that, those colors are kind of, mm, maybe not. <laughs> they're they're kind of similar to that, right? I really want to use it. I just, I feel like it's just hard. It's hard because I don't think any of these things match anything. Is there maybe a swatch on this that could, no. Oh, don't delete the whole house. <laughs> Wait, no, <laughs> no, the tassels are huge. No, I just don't think the couch can work. I'm sorry. I'd rather use this one and then use a different couch. I just, I feel like it doesn't fit. I'm kind of liking this peachy color. I keep looking at like the, the swatches on these stripes and I keep feeling like maybe it's okay if we use it. I don't know if using it twice is okay, but we could, we could probably pull it off. I really want to use these new chairs. I just don't think the swatches match like anything. <laughs> I mean, obviously we have like the stripey one that we're already using, but otherwise I, I don't think we should use that again. I guess we could maybe use the mint version. I didn't think 
about that. Well, that might be okay. You know, there are not enough seats in this house to have as many Sims as we do live here. Now I'm kind of trying to look at these chairs again to pull out a color for the walls, and I really don't know. I almost want to make the walls like more of a beige color and, and hope that that kind of like ties everything together, but I think that looks a little bit bland, so I don't really know what to do. Oh, what if we did something like this? Like with the paneling and we had it be a light blue maybe? Or perhaps the light green would be better? You know what? I think- oh wait, no, the, that looks bad with the chairs. Let's do blue. Each time I change the walls, it like highlights my, my clutter and I'm worried that it's gonna delete, but it hasn't deleted yet, so that's good. Okay, I just finished furnishing the bathrooms. They all have a shower and two of them have a tub, which should be useful considering how many sims are gonna live here. To be honest with you, I'm not really worried about the hallway, like I don't really care what it looks like, but I am worried about this bedroom, so I might do this one first. I didn't want to force the parents' room to have like such a cheap bed, but this one is very small. I don't really know if any of the other beds like have such a, a low profile. I guess this one might work. We could probably scoot it into the wall a little bit. Your sims can still get around on this side of the bed. Trust me, I've done three by three bedrooms, so I know this works. It's just a tight squeeze. <laughs> it's, it's a functional tight squeeze, but it is a really tight squeeze. I don't even think we can have a dresser. Like, I actually don't think we can even- I mean, I guess if I move this door over, we could probably put a wardrobe right here. Yeah, I I think that we should do that. I think that we need to do that. Otherwise, this room is very sad. This is probably all we can add, so. Well, maybe we could get some artwork or something, but otherwise, there's not much else that's gonna be going on the floor in here. Oh, maybe we could do a mirror on the wall, too. Like some sort of wall mirror right here or somewhere. We'll paint it a nice light color. It's cozy, it's nice. And now for the fun part, we get to actually do the teen bedrooms, and that was the whole reason we're doing this house, so. I think I might have one of them be kind of like princessy a little bit because then I can use this pink swatch of the bed but there is also like this pink swatch with the skulls which is kind of fun. We need to figure out which beds we want to use because we have so many options. Oh that one's cute. That's really sunny. I like that a lot actually. I wonder if we could find something that's like a little bit more. Oh, the purple's kind of fun too. Maybe, okay, wait, maybe I'll do like these two in these rooms upstairs and then maybe there could be like a darker one downstairs or we could use the sunny one downstairs because this one's pretty cute. This room is very large compared to the others. <laughs> that kid wins. I want something a little bit darker, I think, but I don't really like too many of these. Maybe that one could be cool. Or this one's got like kind of a fun sporty swatch on it. Let's try sporty. Let's try and use this one. I don't know. <laughs> I'm really just kind of experimenting here. Oh, there's some fun swatches on these. I don't know if that will match or if that's like too much. That might match in here. Oh, there's like no space for it. This is gonna be such a weird space to try and furnish because there's there's really small rooms <laughs> and we've got to try and fit so much in them. Oh, maybe we could try and do that like purple combo. All right, let's see which of these would kind of match. Oh, that's a lot of ribbons. <laughs> that kid is very talented. Do any of these fit a little bit better maybe? Oh, here's some like kind of sporty ones. Maybe I could size that down and put it above the bed. I kind of wanted to have a desk in here, but I don't know if we can fit one. <laughs> maybe if I had the dresser on this side of the room, maybe the desk could go right here if we had like a, a really skinny one. Yikes, I know that I like signed up for a small space, right? Like I know I wanted small rooms. I still don't think I realized how small these rooms were. Like obviously I know what I said, but in practice, I don't think I really thought it through. Maybe I could put a mirror kind of above this. That might be nice. I don't think I like the color scheme in here. <laughs> I wanted to use this bed, but I don't think I like the I just, it, to me, this place is looking all over the place. I think if I did something like this, I might like it a little bit better. How we feel about this? Is this okay? We can swap out this poster too. That one's pretty cute, actually. All right, now I want like a light purple or something. I think that's pretty cute, actually. The light purple on the walls. Let's say that room is done. Now, I already did a purpley pink color, so I might pick a different bed for in here then. Maybe we could do like, honestly, what if we did like a black and white? I don't know. Let's try it, I guess. Oh, this pack has some really beautiful furniture. Like that is so pretty. Maybe I'll give this sim like the giant wardrobe too. Ooh, ooh, okay. Perhaps I'll scoot this door over, see if I can get a little bit more space. There's not really space for a desk in here. There is like a really skinny one from, oh, that one's pretty, but wait, wait, wait. What if this one, what if this went over here? Cause then I could scoot that up against the wall. And then we had the desk over here. Cause then we can use one of the prettier ones. That kind of matches. I don't like any of the colors. Maybe the yellow. Does the yellow work? And maybe this Sim can have a computer, an old one. 
It's nothing fancy. I actually love that. I think that that looks so cute. I don't really know what color to pick, but oh, does the black look weird? Does this chair look weird if it's yellow then? I think the chair looks weird. I think this one is supposed to match, right? Okay. Well, maybe if we use the brown, because the brown's on the, the pillow. You know what? I really like this. I haven't thought about what color to put on the walls. I, um, I haven't really thought that far ahead, but <laughs> I really like this. Do you know what? We could always do like one black accent wall and then have the rest of the walls be painted white. Do you think this sim would have a cow plant? tapestry. <laughs> I really like it. But I don't think that works. Oh, actually like some magazine covers could be kind of good. Wait a minute. That's me <laughs> That's sim right there. Obviously, it's not actually me, but that looks like me. I never noticed that before Okay, well, yeah, I'm definitely gonna use the magazine covers then <laughs> that is absolutely staying in this room I don't really know what else to use I'm, I'm finding it kind of difficult to figure out like what should go on the walls because there's not anything like elegant enough that I'd like to use I think for now. It's okay. Okay, so here's Here's kind of what I'm thinking so far for this last bedroom. I really like this color scheme. I think it's pretty cute. I do still want to have a desk in here. I don't really know which desk though. Like, I'm not really sure if any of these are too much or anything like that. Ugh, I don't think I like that one. And that one's just bland. <laughs> so I'm not sure what to use. Maybe if I had the dresser, the <sighs> I'm struggling. Can you tell? We paint the walls green. We definitely need another window on here. I forgot I only had the one in the front. Oh, that desk doesn't match at all. Never mind. I was gonna say this might work, but no, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't work at all. We could probably try and use it still. Does this have like maybe the purple or maybe if we could bring in some blue from the bed. I absolutely adore those posters. I think that is so cute. Maybe this sim can have like a gaming setup. This is the room that I would pick if I were to live in this house. So maybe I'm just giving myself the, the better things, but I, I kind of like it. What if we made this room a little bit messier? I feel like this could tie it all together a little bit maybe. Okay, I think that's the entire interior of the house though. And I have not touched the outside. So let's try and figure this out. I wonder if we did maybe like a sort of sunny yellow wallpaper on the outside. Maybe that would be kind of cute. I don't think that this red brick works, so I might swap it out to like a more plain foundation. We got a chimney. I forgot that I didn't put a fireplace in this house, but I don't really care. The chimney is entirely about looks and not about function, so it doesn't matter. All right, listen, it wouldn't be a Simsy build if I didn't put a chess table. I gotta do it. Let me just put a couple more little planter boxes or something right here. Oh yeah, that helps. That brings in some more color. I think I want to work a little bit more on the backyard right now. I feel like we need to do some decorating of the outside because I've kind of failed to do that. You know where else you can decorate the outside? Family Island, which by the way, you can download for free from both the Google Play and the App Store. Link in my description box. I'm sorry. I'm kind of digging through the debug landscaping now to see if there's like any trees or anything that might fit in pretty well here. We've already got some bushes, so that helps. We can kind of fill in the lot with these a little bit. We don't even need to do that budget wise. It just like matches the rest of the world really well. Ew. Ooh, that looks bad. But like they've got those bushes back here in this area, so it, it's kind of nice to use them in our house. Okay, I guess as far as trees go, there's lots of like pine trees? I don't like it. I know that they had these, <laughs> but I don't like them. So I might just do my own trees. I'd rather have like a big oak tree or something like this, you know? I just think that's so much prettier. It looks so weird in the back because of the lighting. Oh, it's so hard to do this. All right, in the backyard, I don't really want to do like too, too much. I was thinking that a little telescope might be kind of fun. And then we could always put like a table and a grill and stuff. Oh, we need a trash can, obviously. I'll put that over here. I'm not sure where to put the telescope that would be kind of cute. Should I put it in the front yard? You can stare at the neighbors. I guess the non-existent neighbors. There's no lots around here really. It's like all fake houses, so. And I would like to have a little kind of curvy path that takes you out to the front through this little gate. It's also not a gate. It's just an opening. It's just a hole in the wall, but I would like to have something like this in here. You can put some terrain paint underneath the house and under all the bushes, something like that. And then the final touch, we'll put, oops, we'll put a mailbox right here and we will call it a day. And you know what? I'm pretty happy with this. I think it turned out kind of cute. I'm also very excited about how many bedrooms it has. I think this is going to be fun to play in. So I will stick this on the gallery for you if you want to download it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. And don't forget, if you wanted to check out Family Island, it is free and available for download on both the Google Play and the App Store. And I'll have a link to download it down below too. And with that being said, I'm going to cut off this video right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Have the best rest of your day and I'll catch you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. You know what? I'm actually gonna play in this house on my Twitch stream this week, I think. It's gonna be perfect for what I need.